Well, today it's just a quick patch up job on an old set of brick steps. So I just patched them up, couple hour job. I'm going to show you how I did it. And this brick came loose down here, so I'm going to patch that up. And then this one up here, they're even poking around a little bit. And then underneath, I don't like these kind of steps because what happens is the water comes in here and it seeps between the, the brick and the joints and it breaks it all apart. I like to use a stone, so I'm going to patch it up. So I'm just going to get this out of the way. It comes right out of the way. Dig down in there just like a dentist. Only take out what's bad. Just like that. Nothing bad under the block, Rick. This. Get all that out of there. Make sure it's down to the good part. You gotta think like a dentist. It's all good. They get under these steps. I clean them all out. Any loose stuff. That's all up here. Just get all the loose stuff out, just like a dentist. No big deal. And right here, I'm going to use a rapid set mortar mix. It's a super fast drying. That's what I want. I'm just going to mix a couple of truffles like that. Add a little water. Like that. something to stick you have to wet it so you wet it first make sure everything's wet now you wouldn't do this on regular brick job but on a patch job yeah so you get it in here get it in there so it sticks get it on the side of the brick looking at it I know it sticks bottom on the back a little bit you know it sticks and then make sure I'm right I'm gonna slide it right in place just like that I've got a little stake in the ground I'm gonna keep it there a boom a bang a boom no big deal. And just shove it down there best I can. That's my brick fix. See that? No big deal. Get the grass from growing in there. No big deal. Should we wear rubber gloves? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This stuff dries fast. There, see it's drying already. That's good. See that? Just like that. Now, don't like to use a sponge on bricks. Look at that. You look underneath here. That's it. Get my 
myself some water, which I don't like to do that. Clean that brick off. Just like that. See that? The thing is, with, with a sponge that leaves a film, I don't want to film. Well, if I wanted to get all the big stuff off, I could come back and clean it tomorrow. That's my brick patch. Very good. Gotta watch when you're working with a sponge and water that the water is real clean and you get that off because it's gonna leave a film. That's that. Now we're gonna patch these holes up on the bottom of the steps. So no big deal, we wet it first, like I always tell you. Get your little things. Shove it in there. See that? No big deal. He thinks masonry's a big deal. And then we're gonna go over here and do this one. Kind of squeeze it in there, just make sure it sticks to that wetness. And that's it. No big deal. Just put it in. Oh, this is a patch job. Make it look like the rest of the stucco. Same thing. Over here. Gonna get that under there. Wet it up. Oh, I tell you, you have to wet it to make it stick. That's true. For stucco and... But when you're doing regular block work and brick work, it's a different story. But for this kind of stuff, you do. No big deal. You can do it. I'm not getting fancy here because all it is is a patch job. That's it. See? Patch it up. That's it. That's that step. Same thing. We're scraping it out there best we can. Just like a dentist. Wet it down, keep the pressure, wash that stuff out of there. That's it. Now, if you can, get it down in there, like that. Just like that. Bricks are holding up good. Hard bricks when they put it in. Cement don't hold up good. Especially if it's lime or mortar or falls apart. I get a lot of people telling me I can't use Portland, but this ain't Portland, but man, it works. So you gotta go with what works. I always ask the local guys. The local guys are the ones that know. Use your finger. Really good. See anything bad? Use your finger. That's it. Your, your sponge is real clean. Just go over the edges. If you had to, you go get some dirt. This wasn't white. I got some dirt and mix it into a mud. I, I've done that before. You've seen it in my other videos. See that? Looks like we almost weren't weren't even here. A little bit more in there. That's it. It's no big deal. Just do it. Just make sure the brick's clean. That's all. When I come back a couple hours later, it's as hard as a rock. That stuff works good, and there's not that much film on it. And if you get much film on it, just get a little dirt and rub it. That'll take that film off it. So it's pretty good. I'm happy. Now in my garage, I got a bag of white Portland cement. So I'm going to take this and put it in here and make a paint out of that. 
I'm going to take that white Portland cement, add some water to it, and mix it into a paint. See that? I'm mixing it into a paint. This old school whitewash, Tom Sawyer, all the old timers did it. It's nothing new. Now they put it in a can and they sell it to you. But this is what it was. This is the way they did it in the old days. Usually using lime. See that? It's a little paint. Make it a little softer. That's it. See that? That's what I'm looking for. Something like that. I'm going to get a little, little wet down, like I said. I'm going to get this white Portland cement. This is my edge so I don't get it all over the brick. Just paint it on just like that. See that? No big deal. You could always do it twice, three times. Doesn't matter. Anything that works. Well, I patched the steps up. There's a bunch of trees right there. The very next day, the guy ripped all the trees down from here and exposed this side of the porch. So now I gotta patch that up, maybe paint the walls. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. Well, first thing I'm gonna do, dig away from the wall. So I can get down there a little bit. We're gonna wash it down, rub it off. We can get some of that film off of there. Some of that film. Get the old stuff off, same thing. Get it in there. Fill that crack in. Just get it in there. Stuff is it's all stucco, so you don't have to go crazy. We wet it first, remember that. You gotta wet it. in the corner. We just get our rubber glove. Fill that crack in. See that? Fill the crack in. No big deal. Then just get the sponge. Get all the excess off everything that's going to look bad. Sponge it up if you have to. Same thing as before. Make sure it's kind of damp and wet with the water. The white cement. And just put it on, that's all. We could do it again later, no big deal. When you're painting with the Portland, you get a little bit on. I always get a sponge, rinse it out, and just wipe it off like that, that's all. See that? Then you're not leaving anything on there. You gotta use a smaller brush, use a smaller brush. All it is is cement. That's all it is. So that's the end of it. That's what it looks like when it's done. It's only one coat. There's not a lot to say about that job, it's just a patch-up job. Sometimes people call me up and say, do I need new steps? I'd say if it's my steps, I wouldn't. I just patch them up and keep using them again. Because there's nothing wrong with that. They've been doing that in Europe for hundreds and hundreds of years in all these old buildings, just patching them up. I don't like those kind of steps because the water gets in there and it busts it up in the winter. If I had to replace them, I'd put stone threads on, but they're not that bad. Uh, they're almost 60 years old, too, and that's a long time for a set of steps around here, especially those kind. But if I have white Portland cement, and I always have some of my garage, and that was a stucco, so I just went over the cement with the cement. But if you wanted to use a white stucco paint, there's nothing wrong with that. It might even waterproof it better. So I always ask the paint guys what they think. So that's it in this video. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Mike Haddock. Until the next video.